Hey, what's up guys? This is Loves from the Big Retro Show and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Antstream Arcade service. Now, if you don't know what Antstream Arcade is, it's basically a cloud-based program that allows you to play thousands of arcade and retro games for free. It is ad-supported, but you can get the premium version of this program for pennies on the dollar. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So the first thing to, to know about Anstream Arcade is that it is a launcher. You have to download it very much like the Steam or Epic Game Store or anything uh, like that. So what you do is you head over to Anstream.com. Here I have it up. You just click on download. And this is the page, the download page. You can download a Windows 7, Mac OS version, an Android APK for all of you guys who play video games on your fire stick this is how uh, you can download it onto your fire stick so once you do that and install it onto your preferred system you will get the antstream interface this is antstream arcade as you can see uh, let's go over here to the top menu bar here you can click on play now and this is the screen that you get you can see that there are tons of games for you to play. I have played so far Star Wars, which is one of my favorite arcade games of all time, and P.O.W. Um, I haven't really dived into a lot of the games here. A lot of the games are arcade games, and that is good for anybody who likes playing arcade games. And this is also good for anybody who likes playing DOS, old school 8-bit computer games as well, because there are tons of those on here too. Uh, also, there's tons of Nintendo titles, and you know, as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, selection here. You got driving games, platform games, and so on and so forth. The one good thing about this system is that it lets you enter into tournaments. As you can see here, the latest tournament is Pac Mania. So, you if if tournaments is your thing and you like doing these things uh these tournaments you can go and participate in those as well uh here they have some previous tournaments this one that looks like ended on uh may the 16th it's an it was an asteroids and here's one that was a mortal Kombat, one of the best fighting games ever guys um, let's see here. The This service also lets you have achievements. And as you can see, I hardly have any of them. And that's because I just downloaded it just to see what this uh, program was about. And I wanted to show you guys what it was about as well. It has a messages tab as well. In case you have people you link up with and play games with, you can, you can see your messages here. And there's also a community tab. We're going to go ahead and close that because... Um, don't have much to do with that here you can see the number of tokens that i have i have 710 tokens now as i previously mentioned this is an ad based arcade in which you can play games using these tokens and as you can see i have 710 tokens now if i want to get more tokens i just click on this button and it launches a video i watch a video you know it's about 30 seconds long and i get more tokens and that is how i can play these games for free now let's go back into the games here and i'm going to show you how smoothly this emulation runs so mortal kombat let's let's check out mortal kombat for a second here as you can see here if i click on this blue icon to play it i can you know get some info on the game right off the bat it tells me it's 30 tokens it's kind of like the arcade was back in the day right where you pay a quarter per game or 50 cents uh, per game. And uh, it's it's very, it very much operates like that as well. So duel to the death against vicious fighters and the only tournament that matters, the tournament to save Earthrealm, Mortal Kombat. I can look at some of the challenges. This one is test your might. Kick, punch, and spear your way through each round and gather as many points as possible. Okay. You can look at some of the scores, the, the leaderboards here, and see who is the king of Mortal Kombat. It looks like this guy here, Combo Ace, is, is killing it. Killing it. And I could also look for similar games, similar to Mortal Kombat. Now, this is helpful if you want to have that game experience very much like Mortal Kombat. Uh, 
here it's showing super sprint i, I don't think that's that's kind of like the same game but whatever so we're going to go back here to info and we're going to play and as you can see it's going to uh, uh launch and then it gives you the option to play this with keyboard but nobody nobody likes doing that so we're going to play this oh, you can see this with a uh, xbox controller We're gonna go gamepad here, and we're just gonna launch it. And there we go. We are playing some Mortal Kombat. Let's let's test this out here. I'm gonna use my my guy. It's always been Sub Zero. Oh. Okay, I died there because the controller wasn't set up. So let's let's figure out how to do that. Is it Oh, okay. Oh, that's so weird. I'm playing I'm playing on the D-pad. I win. Let's get one more round in. Bitch. Gotta, gotta pull it off. Gotta pull it off. <laughs> All right, so that's Mortal Kombat. We're going to go ahead and quit this game. Yes, we want to quit it. We'll back into uh, play now. And uh, let's try some other games out here. What else do we want to try out? Let's try one of these uh, old school PC games. And if you can't find the game you want to play, you just click here on search. And it will show you every game that is on this system. You can obviously search if you want to type something in. Here are some popular searches. Arcade, C64, which is Commodore 64, the Amiga. Let's let's look at the, some of the Amiga games on here. I didn't grow up with Amiga, so I can't tell you if any of these are good, but let's, try, let's see if we can pick one out. I do know California games, but let's not play that right now. Here's a cool one, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. This is pretty cool. Play. This is a classic Lucasfilm point and click adventure. And I remember playing this game back in the day. Now I don't have a copy of this game, so it's it's pretty cool that I get to play on this on this service for free. Like that theme song, man. A theme song gets me every time. I'm just gonna start it though. It's a Let's walk over here. Walk to newspaper. <laughs> Man, I can't. I can remember that that these games were like so basic and primitive. We're gonna pick up the newspaper. Look at newspaper. It's today's paper, right? Yeah, I don't want to walk there. Let's go over here. OK, 
Okay, let's go open. It's a point and click, guys. We'll go open door. Hmm, it's locked. <laughs> okay. Let's... This dude's gonna come out and talk some smack. This ain't no ticket office. I'm here to enjoy madams. I'm here to fix the lights. Let's see. Let's see what he says to that. Now, right off the bat, I'm sure you guys notice it too. It's a little choppy. The music is is chopping up. So the emulation on this particular game isn't so good. I'm noticing that. Let's go ahead and... Get out of this game. So yeah, I mean... You get what you pay for, right? It's free. And the emulation is not as good as I was expecting it to be. But let's see what else. Let's let's try out some Metal Slug. Always a fun game. And we're going to play it. Let's see how the emulation holds up. Love this game. A little choppy. Definitely a little choppy. Noticing some uh, some frame rate issues with this game. Yeah, definitely some frame rate issues. But then again, it you know, it is a cloud-based game. So it's not running off of uh, my hardware here, which when I play this with my uh, MAME machine, my MAME emulator, I don't get these kind of issues. Destroy this thing here. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some stuttering here and some graphic fidelity issues as well. Um, of course, this is a cloud-based game. So, I mean, I guess it comes with the territory. We're going to quit out of here. We're going to go ahead and try one more game. And let's see here. Ninja Gaiden Arcade. There's a game that you seldom see. But let's let's check this out. Yes. 
Ninja in the USA, baby. Oh, damn. Getting my ass handed to me in this game. Bastard. I don't remember this game being this this difficult. We'll give it another go. Game didn't get too far at all in this game. That's cheap. Bitch. Oh, finally there, I got the sword. I knew there was a sword involved in this in this game somewhere. Mad hard. I remember it being this hard. Okay, so this one is emulating fairly well. Fairly well. Ah, oh, there was a. That was a stutter. You dude with the tree. I'm gonna bring a fucking tree to, to this fight. Rockin' soundtrack. <laughs> All right. So my verdict, my verdict for this for this service. All right. So let let's wrap. Let's just wrap it up. Uh, I also promised to tell you how to get the premium version of this service, um, and I'm gonna do that right now. The way to do that is to go to the Epic Game Store. Sign up for a free account on the Epic Game Store, and it's if you guys don't know about Epic Games, it's pretty cool. They give you free games every single month. I think uh, the one they have free right now is Borderlands 3, and I did claim that that is in my library. So right now, the premium service of the Antstream Arcade is on sale for half off. You can get it for $20 for a whole year. Uh, it once you get this premium service, you no longer have to rely on the tokens that you see up here. As you can see, my tokens are now at 590. 
Um, so if I have the premium service, I don't have to watch any videos to um, get these tokens and play these games. And so, so okay, so who is this Antstream Arcade for? This is not for people who emulate everything. Because, of course, you know that on PCs, you can emulate anything and everything. You can get ROMs from everywhere. Arcade Punks will give you free ROMs. And, you know, there's just tons of places where you can get ROMs. I'm not going to tell you where, but, you know, all you got to do is do a quick Google search and you can get ROMs. You can also download MAME emulators, um, NES emulators, Commodore emulators. You can you can download all of the emulators on your own. Now, so this program isn't for the person, the PC player, who emulates everything already and doesn't really need this service. So I don't recommend it for that crowd. I, I consider myself in that crowd as well. No, this is for the PC user who doesn't want to mess with emulators, who maybe isn't savvy, savvy enough to program a uh, Raspberry Pi or to load an image. And I don't know why you, you wouldn't be able to do that because it is extremely easy to do. So this isn't for, you know, for, for everybody who's savvy enough to do that. This is just for the casual person who do, who wants to play these arcade games, not have to hassle with emulators, who just wants to launch a program right away and, and play these games out of the box. You can play thousands of them, so it's not a bad deal. And it, it's free, right? But there are some issues that I noticed. Definitely some bandwidth issues, uh, emulation issues, sound issues. I mean, the emulation isn't one for one here. And so for that, I can't really recommend this service. I, I can't recommend it for anybody who wants to experience these games the way that they were meant to be experienced. The Antstream Arcade is a cloud-based service. So, I mean, it gets, I guess it comes with the territory. But, you know, if you just want a free experience or one where you can just pay $20 for the whole year and play all the games that you want. Uh, and if you don't care about one for one emulation or even even a close emulation, because there were some frame rate issues uh, involved in these and the emulation of these games. And again, that's to be expected because it's a cloud based service. So. You know, uh, this service, if I had to rate it, I would probably give it mm, maybe a four out of ten. Um, it's it's free. I mean, that's probably the only good thing about it. <laughs> uh, but if you already have an arcade machine, then and you emulate everything, then I would skip this if I were you. But if you're a casual or if you play on the Mac, because the Mac is just it's garbage for gaming. Uh, it's good for creating, but garbage for gaming. If you want to play these games on a Mac and you have a, a PC and, um, well, not a PC. If you have a Mac and you have a good internet connection, then you might want to play this game as well. well might want to have this service as well. Anyways, guys, if you have played this Antstream Arcade service, I mean, it does have its positive aspects too. You know, you can play online with friends and you can enter these tournaments you know, you just have to watch enough videos to, I guess, to play the games, or you have to pay the $20 uh, for a year's worth of access to the premium service. So, I mean, it does have its positives, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of Antstream Arcade. If you are on it, if you play it, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you agree with my assessment of this uh, program or you disagree? Let me know in the comments. And until the next one, I will see you on the Big Retro Show. Peace. We'll <laughs>